Welcome back students to RKC online class. I am Part Dawra and this video is for Form 8 Science. We have discussed chapter number 3, Synthetic Fiber and Plastics. This is their question and answers of NCRT book. So let's begin with it. So students, let's begin with the very first question, question 1, which is explain why some fibers are called synthetic. Some fibers which are not natural, also known as man-made fibers, called synthetic because they are made up of by chemical processing of petrochemicals. The synthetic fibers are made up of very large units called polymers. Some of the synthetic fibers are rayon, nylon and acrylon. Moving on to question 2, which is mark the correct answer. Rayon is different from synthetic fibers because following options are given and the correct one will be second. It is obtained from wood pulp. Question 3 is fill in the blanks with appropriate words. First one, synthetic fibers are also called as dash or dash fibers, man-made or artificial. Synthetic fibers are synthesized from raw materials called petrochemicals. And like synthetic fibers, plastic is also a polymer. Question 4 is give examples which indicates that nylon fibers are very strong. Now we have discussed that it is very strong and elastic in nature. It is actually stronger than a steel wire. So it is used for making parachutes, rock climbing ropes, fishing nets, seat belts, etc. A nylon fiber thread is elastic and light but very very strong. Next question number 5. Explain why plastic containers are favored for storing food. The plastic containers are light in weight easy to handle. The price of plastic container is very less as compared to other containers and they have a good strength as we have discussed durable. Question 6. Explain the difference between the thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics. Now students here the keyword is set. Once the plastic is set it cannot be unset. So plastic which gets deformed easily on heating is known as thermoplastic. The plastic which when molded once cannot be softened by heating. These are thermosetting plastics. Polythene, PVC are some of the examples of thermoplastics whereas bakelite and melamine are the examples of thermosetting plastics. These are used for manufacturing toys, combs and various type of containers. Bakelite and melamine. Now bakelite is used for making electrical switches and utensil handles. Melamine is used for floor tiles, kitchenware etc. So explain why following are made up of thermosetting plastics. First one saucepan handles and uh, the answer will be. Now over here saucepan handle is made up of melamine and electric plugs is made up of bakelite. Now melamine is a thermosetting plastic which resists fire and can tolerate heat better than the other plastics. Bakelite, a thermosetting plastic is poor conductor of heat and electricity. So it is used for making electric plugs, switches, plug boards, etc. Question 8 is, categorize the materials of the following products into can be recycled and cannot be recycled. So let us talk about can be recycled. Plastic toys followed by carry bags, then plastic bowls, also bowl point pens, plastic covering on electrical wires, plastic chairs is also recyclable. Non-recyclable will be telephone instruments, cooker handles and electrical switches. 
Next is question 9. Rana wants to buy shirts for summer. Should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material? Advice Rana. Giving your reason. Now since it is summer season, so definitely he should buy cotton shirts. The reason is, it absorbs sweat and the pores in cotton allows easy evaporation and keeps our body cool. Whereas synthetic shirts does not absorb sweat. So they are very uncomfortable to wear in the summers. Question 10 is give examples to show that plastics are non-corrosive in nature. Consider a container in which you have kept some pickles or any other food items. Now it will not react with it. So we can say it is plastics are non-corrosive in nature. As we can store various kinds of chemicals and the other materials in plastic containers because they are non-reactive and does not react with even water and air. Now Teflon, Bakelite and Melamine are three special type of plastics. Teflon is used for non-stick cookwares whereas Bakelite is poor conductor of heat and electricity so it is used for making electrical switches as we have discussed and Melamine is used for floor tiles and kitchenware. Next question 11 is should the handle and bristles of a toothbrush be made of same material? Explain your answer. Now here we are talking about toothbrush. So it should be made of soft material so that it does not harm the gums as you might be knowing already. And the handle should be made of hard material so that it can give a firm grip. Now students, we have studied about nylon and there are some properties of nylon which helps us to do this. Like nylon is strong, elastic and lustrous, light in weight, easy to handle and that is the reason why it is used for making up the bristles. Hard plastic is strong, durable, poor conductor of heat and electricity. So students, question 12 is avoid plastics as far as possible, comment on this advice. We have discussed about plastics in our earlier videos. Now we shall see uh, the same reasons why we shouldn't be using it very often. The very first reason is that they are non-biodegradable and they take a lot of time to decompose. Plastics are also not eco-friendly. Burning plastics releases poisonous fumes and uh, which can cause a huge amount of air pollution. The conditions which we are seeing in the modern cities. Sometimes cow and other animals may eat plastic present in the garbage which may choke their respiratory system and even cause death. The plastic left in the soil results in the soil pollution. The plastic bags drained into the water bodies causes threat to aquatic life also. And the last reason, poly bags choke the drains and sewage pipes causing a lot of trouble. Question 13 is, match the terms of column 1 correctly with the phrases given in the column 2. Basically match the following. First one, polyester. It is a fabric which does not wrinkle easily. Uh, then nylon, uh, which is used for making parachutes and stockings. Then Teflon, which is used to make non-stick cookwares. And finally, rayon, which is prepared by using wood pulp. Next question is, manufacturing synthetic fiber is actually helping conservation of forest. Comment, how? Now, synthetic fibers are man-made fibers and these fibers are made from petrochemicals. Cutting of trees or killing of animals is not required at all and hence we are saving the environment. So we can say that manufacturing synthetic fiber is actually helping conservation of forest. And now the final question, describe an activity to show the thermoplastic is a poor conductor of electricity. Now here as you can see on the screen, if I am connecting a battery with a current uh, carrying conductor, the bulb glows. The whole circuit is complete and uh, you can see it very clearly. 
on the other hand when i am keeping a piece of synthetic fiber at the piece of conductor then the whole circuit is now broken and as you can see the bulb will not be glowing